Visual Basic versus Visual C Sharp for beginning programmers. For the beginning programmer who wants to start by making tangible applications that they can run on their desktop, both Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp are great choices. Because Microsoft offers express editions of both of these programming languages, you can get started for free. The determination as to which is a better fit for you is probably more of a choice about where do you want to be going in the next five years rather than what do you want to do today. The capabilities of both Visual Basic and Visual C Sharp are pretty similar. And while Visual Basic is a little faster to write code in, you can do more per line of code, and you don't have to declare as many variables or as many settings, so Visual Basic will let you build more faster. But Visual C Sharp will actually let you do some things that Visual Basic won't in terms of which APIs it will interface with. Because of this, you can think of Visual Basic as a great multi-purpose tool. A lot of the people who've gone back to learn Visual Basic after having learned other languages learn it because it's what powers Windows Scripting Host and also because it's a very fast language if all you need to do is make, say, a configuration tool. If you've got a Windows login script that's going to deploy another application, Visual Basic is a great way to create a form page where a user can enter a bunch of information, push save, and export an XML file that's picked up by another program, or register your document, or determine which installer you're going to run. C Sharp, on the other hand, is, because it's a C-like language, is a great leaping off point for learning Visual C++, or learning just plain C, or starting on a road to Python and some of the other web languages. C Sharp is probably the better choice if your end game is to learn to write games or game technologies. Visual Basic is probably better if you're going down the path of web development towards Java and JavaScript. Uh, Visual Basic is also a great language if you're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff with ASP, which is the Microsoft web language that powers ASP.NET stuff. ASP is a great language for doing web stuff on a Microsoft platform, and for the most part is written as Visual Basic code that runs uncompiled as a scripting language. So, probably choosing which one of these you want to do is not a function necessarily of what you want to do today, but what you want to be doing in five years.